Hey guys, this is Kailash Shani from Food Review Online. Today we will be reviewing Poco Loco, which is actually a fusion between a Spanish and a Mexican tapas bar. Poco Loco in Spanish means a bit crazy and the vibe certainly lives up to that name. So why don't we go ahead and experience this? Come on. beans are really nice. Oh my god. This chimichurri cottage cheese is so awesome. Yeah. I love the flavors. And the texture, the entire presentation is just mind blowing. It all comes together really nice. The presentation itself looks so great that you don't feel like touching the dish. The fruits, flowers, everything looks great. My quinoa is loaded. And it's yummy. I was a little skeptical as to how this is going to taste, but this is bang on. You know, if I could rate this dish 6 out of 5, I would do that. Because these guys are supposed to be, you know, tending in Mexican Spanish food, and I think they have nailed on this one. Guys, for my dessert, what we're going to be having is churros. Uh, churros is something where I went to Spain. You know, I was having this as breakfast, but now I'm back in India and I'm having this as dessert. Something different. Let's try it out. And the churros are great. You know, the flavors are really intact for this one. And the chocolate is it's okay, but I think eight out of ten for churros. Eh?
So guys, what I'm going to actually share my feedback uh, about you know Poco Loco. Uh, you know, from my Indian perspective, I have Kesha who's going to give an Australian perspective. I have lived in seven countries, backpacked in 30. Uh, you know, so we're going to bring all of that exposure and going to give our feedback. You know, to her. So Kesha, what do you think about the food tonight? Uh, I was quite impressed with salsa and that's it. Here you have refried beans, you have a lot of flavour that no one usually goes to the effort with. It was the same with the burger, where there's actual complex flavours. Whereas usually it's just the patty, some sauce and a simple bun. So everything was actually, a lot of thought obviously went into it. And there was an attempt to actually make it truly flavourful and cultivate an experience and not just with the bare minimum, so it was, it was very nice. Well, you've heard the Australian version, let me hear the Desi version now. Okay, so the fact is that, you know, Mumbai makes a lot of effort, you know, globalize its cuisine. Spanish food, Mexican food is one of my favorite and a lot of people in Mumbai is their favorite as well. But you know what? I think this is the place you can get closest to a Mexican or a Spanish food. If you haven't been to Mexico, you haven't tried the, you know, the global palette, this is the place to be. So thank you for an awesome evening and we really appreciate the hospitality and some awesome food. Thank you.